burnishing, if you want, the memory of those who supported and went to fight in Spain. Beyond that, of course, it's about telling people that it could all happen again, you know, because uh, fascism doesn't sleep all over Europe, all over the globe, it's still there. And it's our job, not just to look back to the Spanish Civil War, but to look forward to the ending of all wars. And that can only be done when fascism is dead. It's the clippings that my mum stuck away somehow, some way, uh, 1937, 1938, into 39, before she went off to London to uh, uh, I was going to say to conceive me, which is absolutely true, but I mean, <laughs> that had not been her aim, honestly. <laughs> um, I might as well tell the truth from the word go. Um, I am illegitimate. Uh, I was what Mrs. Thatcher thought I was. Uh, <laughs> uh, but not a rich one. <laughs> On our own in London. Knocked on a door, unmarried mothers, uh, the unmarried mother and her child organisation. Nice snappy. <laughs> <laughs> the unmarried mother and her child. Excuse me, I'm pregnant. <laughs> you know, uh, anyway, I, my grandfather, typical of my dear old uh, Lancashire grandfather, uh, he wouldn't allow us back in the family home. Uh, so I had three years in Bethnal Green, then to Doncaster. And of course, when we got to Doncaster and we saw my grandfather and he saw me, he did what any grandfather would. He said, you can't go back. <laughs> so we stayed there in one room. Uh, old Victorian slum. Great. I had a great life. I've got no, no problems about uh, poverty or anything like that. I, I just had a great time because I was loved then. And that's made up for all the years when I wasn't. Um, <laughs> Somebody go, oh. <laughs> uh, but we did have a trunk, and the trunk was uh, used as a table by and large. Uh, and in the table, uh, in this trunk, sorry, there, there were these two scrapbooks. And uh, so I, I've said in this, and it's absolutely true, uh, apart from Wind of the Willow, probably the earliest things I ever looked at were the Spanish Civil War because they were there, uh, and got to thinking and reading and clipping. Uh, many of the clippings are from um, uh, the old, well, the Daily Worker, many are from other places as well, but she religiously kept at it, putting the stuff in. A little bit about China, Mao and the Long March, that sort of stuff, but mainly about Spain, and it was all to do with fascism, with dictatorship, with people getting killed unnecessarily and improperly. Uh, and so, uh, obviously, it was handed on. There was I and my mum. Uh... Because they knew, like the Republican government in 1936, what fascism is about. And fascism has to be fought every day of the week, every week of the year, every month of the year. I love applause, and I love applause for a cause. This is about a torch from history. Not just young at heart, but young. We have to carry the message forward. The torch has to go on. Yeah.